Welcome back, guys, to my let's play of Clock Tower, where we left off. Helen survived the library, and we got to see one of the endings. Huzzah! But let's continue talking to Gots. He seems pretty cheesed at us. Gots, I've learned something interesting about... Scissorman. You got something. Yes, I know where the Barrow's Castle is. The Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's where the Barrow's family used to live. Before they immigrated here. Go on. I looked further and found a historical account saying that a monster was born in the castle. They must have somehow killed Scissorman back then. Good point. So, I am planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. As long as he is alive, we aren't safe anywhere. All right, but one thing. What's that? I'm going with you, okay? Gods. Aww. Okay, so, what do you think we have to do here? You figure we'd be heading to Europe right away, right? Nope, nope, we gotta check everywhere. So, let's click on Rick's house. Rick's house. Cool. Alright, police station. Hey, my boss says I can go with you to England. He was really sarcastic about it, though. Understandable. Alright, let's check the newspaper. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper. Reporter called Nolan. Okay. We finally get to step into this lovely newspaper. Company. Publisher. Excuse me, Miss Helen Maxwell. You have good timing. How so? Well, we learned a bit of information. That you are going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is... Going to England. So it was pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. How about it? May we join you? I don't mind. I don't know if Gots will like it. Hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. Alright, see you at the airport first thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. Okay, so our party has expanded by two people. Okay, well, let's, let's go to the hotel. Edward seems to have come back safely. Let's check on Edward here, see how he's doing. Edward, thank heaven you're all right. All right. Yes, thank you, Miss Maxwell. Thank you very much, Miss Maxwell. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere that there might be danger. Oh, I see. Which is understandable. We are going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England. Yes, we are going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. We are hoping to find some clues about Scissorman. May I go too? Edward, what are you saying? He will probably kill me too if I stay here. I want to go along and help. Edward, that is... Please, Kay. Well, all right then. Please, look after him, Miss Maxwell. Hmm. Well, all right. We'll be the first flight tomorrow morning. Yeah, sure, let's take a ten-year-old with us to this mansion where there's possibly a murderer trying to kill everybody. Perfect idea, Helen. Perfect idea. Perfect job, Miss Kay. You are totally amazing at your guardianship. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give you a clap right now. Good job. Anywho, let's go check the library. The general public still should not be allowed to enter. But we're still going there. P 
Professor Barden, Harris, we've just been to the scene of the murder. What a terrible thing to have happened. Yes, but one good thing came out of it. I now know where the Barrows used to live in. England, before immigrating. Here. I suppose that is where his home is. Yes, and I think. I'll find some clues about him there. So what are you going to do now? I would like to go to England tomorrow. May I? Hmm, alright then. But our research staff will... Go with you. We may discover some material that will be... Important in the future. I suppose that would be okay. Very well then. I will go get ready. So our party has increased. What was it? We had four. Now we have six. We have eight people in our party, guys. Eight people! We're, we're trying to stop Scissor Man, not, you know, have a posse in a group and go on an adventure. Let's go to the ha staff housing. Maybe see what's up with Jennifer. Jennifer must be worried. Yeah, you know, we don't see much of Jennifer in this scenario. We should make sure she's okay. There is nothing for me to do here. Okay, I guess nothing. Nothing in the room at all. No Jennifer. Nothing here. Every time we go there, we always pop up in Jennifer's room. Why? Don't, don't they own a kitchen? Or is it just Jennifer's room? Uh, let's go to the research building. Helen, are you alright? Yes, I was able to get the statue. And I found a clue. Right, the inspector told me about going to the... Barrow's castle. Okay. Suddenly, we've got ten people going to England. Exactly, Gots. Crimey, this is supposed to be serious. Business. I've contacted the police in England, and I've... Also arranged a rental car. From the airport. Thank you, Gots. We're coming to get you, Scissor Man. This time you'll be doing the running. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're on a plane. The sun is going down. Very quickly. As a matter of fact, it would be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Strange. Where is Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no! Jennifer is missing, too. They can't be missing. The castle. Hurry! Yes, everyone just decided to piss on off and go their separate ways to a murderous castle, no less. This is the last scenario. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do in the game that alternate the ending we get. Um, so we're going to see what ending we get. Oh, what happened? Randomly, the ceiling, but not ceiling, the floor gave out on us. Just utter randomness. There is a gaping hole and no way to get across. We are stuck in this castle forever, guys. This sucks. Let's get out of this hallway, I guess. This is... Yes, the Barrow's Mansion. Let's go get this door first. There is a massive padlock on the door. It does not look like it will open. Okay, fine. Let's check out... we got a couple doors we can check out here. Clearly, this one is a no-go. There's like one, two... 
three, five rooms we can check out. Let's go over here first. Now this, I will point out, is the biggest area in the game, obviously. It's the final stage. There's so many areas. This game, this place is easy to get lost in. Now let's try this door here. Oh, look, it's Beth. Hey, Beth, how are you doing, Beth? Oh, Beth. Beth, are you all right? Helen, everyone's lost. Hang in there, Beth. I want to look around some more. Are we going to still wander about here? The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. I've got to find it. Beth, you should stay here. You've got to be joking! I'm not going to leave left alone again. I'm going with you. Um, no. No. No, Beth. No. Beth, listen. Scissor Man does not care how many people there are. We have a better chance of being rescued if we split up. Got to find a way to kill Scissor Man. Wait here. All right, I will. But you come back, won't you? No. The whole seems to go on forever. Okay, well, nothing else is in this room. I don't think we need to really interact with Beth anymore. So, let's just gonna get out of here. I may point out this is Beth's fault. You know, she wanted to come... to go... you know, research... things on Scissor Man. She could've stayed home. You know? A valve is buried in the ground. It seems to be the valve to drain the fountain. Okay, keep that in mind f for later, guys. Uh, let's check out the fountain. I wonder where the water is draining from. Good question. We can look at this tree here, too. Many of the leaves look diseased. Oh, I guess not. That's just the door. Oops. Oops. Okay, so we've ended up in a different area of the mansion. Um, so hence why this can get kind of confusing. Let's check out the grate. Or gate, I guess. This will not open without a key. Okay. Well, we can go in that door. Which we might as well, why not? We're gonna get uber lost here, guys. Just, just really lost. Let's see what's down this hallway. Oh, one door. And there's another door. Let's go through this door. Oh, look, the kitchen. Let's look inside things and, you know, all that fun stuff. A stew pot. Okay, what's this? The plates are smashed to pieces. What a shame. A stew pot. Okay, what about this? There are probably cockroaches. What about that? What is this? A garbage can. The inside is stained black. A frying pan. It looks very heavy. Okay, well, let's go through this door. What's up? Did you find anything? No. Oh well. It's a good looking place anyway. Quite relaxing. What are you saying? Scissor Man is lurking around here somewhere.
It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because he is after you. Dun dun dun. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. I wonder which door it opens. Yeah, I wonder too. You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. And he's just gonna stroll right into that room. We're gonna go follow him. Oh, where did he go? Who knows? All spooky. It is empty. Okay. We can look at this floor. A square board has been fit into the floor. We can look at the cans. Some cans have fallen on the floor. Of course, interact with the shelves, why not? There seems to be a switch at the back of the shelf. Well, let's go behind us first. A row of some kind of dried up brown things. I wonder what these used to be. Maybe potatoes, maybe bodies. Anyway, we opened the little trap door. Let's go down below. Maybe that's where Harris went. Why would Harris go down there? I wonder. Ooh, <laughs> that's the reason why Harris went down here. All right, well, let's look around here. Wine barrels. Okay. There are many bottles of wine. Something smells sour. All right, well, let's go upstairs. Let's climb the ladder. <gasps> what was that sound? Ooh. Maybe it's Harris. Harris drinking a lot of wine. Tim. Oh, Ms. Maxwell? Is everyone Is everyone all right? I don't know. I'm still looking for them. I wonder if Nolan's still alive. So, where did Harris go? Question mark. Ms. Waxwell, I'm going to hide here for a while. You do that, Tim. Alright, well, let's go upstairs. Tim's gonna hide here with the booze. Maybe have a couple drinks. Maybe all of it. Hopefully the wine is, you know, really good. So let's continue onward. All right, let's check this door here. Okay, so where do we end up? Oh, oh, we got some shinging. Oh no. Oh no, it's a season man. It's a season man. Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna hide? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna hide? Let's see if we can find a... Oh, Beth is... Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this isn't good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, well, there we go. That was easy. And this man was never to be found. Hopefully. Okay, so we know where we're at now. So we went through, what, this door here? I'm pretty confident we did. So let's check out this door. What's so special about this door? Oh, well, this is awkward. I guess the mansion likes to have this, you know, prankster-like doors? Okay, well let's go back this way. And let's walk past the kitchen. And let's see, we've been through there, we've been through there. We haven't entered this door yet, so let's open this door. Okay, well, let's check underneath here. Oh, what's that? A book is on the bed. The cover of this book, it's made of copper. You now have the copper book. 
cool. Let's check this cup dresser. I was gonna say cupboard. Wrong thing. A closet. A frock coat is hanging up. Okay, well, let's check this drawer. Why not? A cabinet covered in the dust. Okay, go put this dresser here. <gasps> oh no, it's a severed hand. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Why Why is someone keeping a severed hand in there? Is this... Is this Cousin It's... No, is it Cousin It or the Thing? It's the Thing's room. That's it. It's the Thing's room. Well, we're gonna stab it. I'm going to assume we stabbed it with a pen. Maybe a fork? Something pixelated. There are many books yellowed with age. Okay, well, I guess she doesn't acknowledge the hand anymore. There is a tattered note. A spell to exercise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. Quentin Barrows. Exercise the devil children. That's it. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we just, you know, mosey on out here. Or do we? Do we? There was something on the table. I better grab it before I forget. Everything seems normal. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just a crack. Okay, I'm wrong. Anyway, let's leave. Let's waddle away. Waddle, waddle, waddle. So while we're at it, let's quickly look at our inventory. We have pliers, we have the flashlight, we got the statue, screwdriver, fireplace key. That's what the key we got. Okay, well, let's go through here. This takes us in this room. Okay, well, you know what? Let's look around here. What is this? It's, well, obviously a fire pit. Oh, spooky. <laughs> a chimney that Santa might come out of. Okay, maybe we can use the key here. Maybe. No, I guess not. Uh, nothing else here, so I guess not. Okay, what? Something fell, so let's, let's go here. Let's check something. There is something on the table. It's a key. You now have the mansion key. Cool. Let's check these pictures out. Portraits, portraits of the hares. Uh, so, okay. Well, I guess, you know, it's just automatically snaps you to this one. Oh, we can check over here. There are many portraits on the wall. They all look alike. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's check this cupboard here. A cabinet. It is empty. Uh, let's look at the chairs here while we're in this room, exploring everything. A badly stained sofa. Oh! Oh my goodness! It's Scissor Santa Claus! Oh, he come to give us gifts of giant pair of scissors. How exciting. How exciting. Let's go through this door. There's a reason why I want to go this way. Because we need to share... We need to share how we're going to evade Scissor Man. And this one is my personal favorite. I like this one quite a bit. And you're going to see why. You remember this door? I remember this door. Why is this door so special? Because Scissor Man is practicing his diving skills. I give that diving skill about a 5 out of 10. He could use some effort on that swan dive of his. And thus we evade a scissor man yet again. That one is constantly an infinite loop. You can go back there. Do that every single time, and he's just gonna fall for the same trick every time. It's pretty amusing. I really like it. I wonder whose this is. A small handprint is painfully visible on the table's surface. Whose is it? Who knows? Oh, spook Betty. Murder mystery, that kind of thing. All the murder mystery questions. Alright, so we were here. We looked at the table. Can we actually look at it now? Everything seems normal. Okay, well. I guess. Okay, so let's head back. We got... Granted, we did get another key. Which doesn't show here. But we did get another key. Um, let's head upstairs. Because we got like three more doors to check up here. 
I'm gonna check this one here. Is it three? Oh, it's just two. My bad. But we can go get this picture. So we're gonna stare at the picture. Everything seems normal. Okay, cool. Well, let's go into this door here. And let's look around here. Let's check out all this stuff here. An old cosmetic box. Okay. A dresser. What a nice design. Okay, cool. A broken down sofa. The springs look like they're ready to poke through. Oh, we could check this painting. <gasps> ah! Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, let me, let's go down here. I'm not gonna lie, that actually made me jump. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've seen that one. Anyway, why are we going this way? Why, Pa? Why are we going back this way? Whoa, it's special. There's another special one that I enjoy in this one. Like, you know, I can grab this invisible item here, but nay. Nay, 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 nay. We're gonna grab something special, because it's been a while since we dealt with Scissor Man. Like, this active, I should say. In a speedrun, you really don't see him much, you know. So, I do. I'm gonna cherish the time I get to spend with Scissor Man. You know? I imagine he cuts fruits and veggies quite well with a giant pair of scissors. Okay, so let's let's see here. What do we have? Oh, let's let's use this. That's right, people. We just bonk Scissorman on the head with a frying pan. Did I mention he's weak to fire like firing pans too? I don't know if I did or didn't. But anywho, let's just continue onward here. Let's go back to that one room where he jumped out of the painting. Oh, wrong way. We don't want to go that way. I don't think you guys want to see Helen fight to climb back into the mansion. I really don't think you guys want to see that. So let's let's go up here, shall we? Because we're not done in this room. There's still a bunch of stuff we need to go through. And before that, I'm going to quickly make a save. For good reasons. One, there are as many endings we can get here. Two, there's many things that can go. I wouldn't say it can go wrong. But like I said, we can get an opportunity to get three endings in this area. So, double checking if I saved. Oh, it's a pure habit. So yeah, right there. Alright, so let's look around. Let's look at the painting again. The hole this man came out of is open. I wonder where this leads to. Oh, we'll find out in a second, I imagine. A portrait of a woman. She's almost looks alive. Maybe she is. <gasps> a broken down sofa. Okay, we've already looked at that. I think we looked at the table too. So let's check out this fire pit. There is a surrounding fence. The gate is locked. Well, we have this key, label fireplace key. Let's use it. It opened. Cool. There is a passageway with a ladder inside the chimney. Crawling in there would give me the creeps. Oh, come on. I believe in you, Helen. You're a strong, independent woman. Oh, where are we? Oh my, this is entirely new. Religious robes are hanging on the rack. They are all covered with dust. Well, let's check out the statue here. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, well. Poor Helen. Got stabby stabbed. Stab, stab, stabbed. Alright, we're not done yet, though. That's not really an ending. That's just a continue. That's a dead end. There's a difference. I'm gonna extend this a little bit here, guys. So yeah, that, that entrance caved in. So let's check this box out. A cosmetic case. It is locked and will not open. Okay, cool. Let's go through this. And you know what? Let's check out this room here. And let's look around. These look like documents made here. And we can look here. What's this? You have discovered hint 10. Cool. We haven't got many of these hints recently. Makes me wonder if I missed a bunch. There are many books on religion from around the world. What a collection. But now is not now is no time to admire it. Let's go get this. Books are stacked up. Okay. There are many thick books, but none stand out. Okay, well, let's go through here. And let's go through here. What should we do? What? what should I do? Absolutely nothing. Sad panda. Jennifer, oh, why? Well, you know what? Sister Man went in here. So you know what? Let's run in here. Let's let's go chase him down. Ooh, that stench. The room is permeated by the smell of blood. Well, I guess Scissor Man is no longer around. He disappeared somewhere. There are blood stains all over it. Let's check out this one here. There are chains hanging from the wall. Many people have probably been put in these chains. Okay, well, let's go get this lovely great thing. Torture instruments. This is the first time I've seen the real thing. Okay, well, I guess nothing else is in this room, so I guess we'll just leave. Who knows where Scissor Man went? He just disappeared as usual. But he finally killed an important character, guys. Holy crap, he finally killed an important character. So. Hmm. She kind of got a little shifty there. There are rows of pews. Just what kind of people come here? Oh, but did you notice the body of Jennifer is missing? Oh, spooky and interesting. What is that? A character of religious fiasco is painted on the wall. Weird. Well, let's get out of here. Can we actually leave? Are we stuck here forever? Who knows? No, oh, I guess we can leave now. All right, well, before I continue, guys, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Now, before I do, I'm going to make a quick save. There's a reason why. I kind of want to show it, because we've we been getting these hints, and I've yet to show these hints. Now, so I don't skip on my progress, let's reset the game. And let me show you guys the hints. So throughout the game, you find little hints. So, let's take a quick gander at them. So, hint. And we can also read about the Clock Tower story. So, let's go get these hints. We have gotten three, so... Four. I can't count. We've gotten four. The main character is determined by the number of times Harris is spoken to in the corridor during the prologue. If he is spoken to two or three times, then Jennifer becomes the main character. 
So yeah, that's how you determine if you play Jennifer or Helen. So let's go hint four. N except ending E are determined according to how many conditions were met in the last scenario. Okay. A little weird, a little obscure, but yeah, that's fine. Hint eight. If Helen is the protagonist in the last scenario, which indeed she is, something must be dropped down the shaft when deciding on which of the three shafts is correct. Pretty vague. We haven't seen that yet. Let's check the last hint. When carrying the box that can't be opened, you need to do something fairly drastic to get at the contents. Once again, something very vague. But yeah, that's kind of how the hint system works. They don't give you the entire thing. It's pretty vague. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my Let's Play Clock Tower, my March special. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other Let's Plays as well. All that fun stuff. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!